surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. <laughs> that heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on set and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid, so getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. But if you manage to dig up more of them, we could wiretap the entire city. All right. God damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. When you find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. On <laughs> To you. What do you say about the fans? Four finger Charlie told me. To go fuck himself. dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Get where he can't see you coming. Get away! Get down, that's a new Get one! Away.
units. Search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. Sure. Yours is about to get shorter. Just like the good old days. Damn pussy took off. Got to show up sometime. Cocksucker. Well, hey. <coughs> Cocksucker. Well, hey. What's his... There's our problem. What the hell, y'all? 
You're gonna tell me about the dope operation. Oh, I got a call You answer to me. I know. Welcome back. Customers aren't allowed in this area. Stop moving around. Can't get enough. All right, dude. I ain't exactly religious, but having the whole city supply sitting around here with Jesus no staring at us this. does make me a mind nervous. Go for something cold about now. You ain't Stay in line.
stolen in the hollow. If there's a unit in the area, maybe stop over and see what's going on. I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. <laughs> Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. George will do if he finds out all our dealers are getting hit. He'll kill Richie for sure. Probably Charlie and Merle too. Fuck. Comes to that, my ass is vanishing. George will never find me out there name yet? We're Charlie thinking about Thomas Lee after my old man. Good. Now he's got a nice ring to it. This shit with us getting hit doesn't get settled. My boy might wind up being named something else. Nah, it won't come to that. Boys will take care of it. You'll see. I live long enough to raise your family. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. Donovan, John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree 
to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. Hey! I got him! Stay the fuck down. <laughs> 